Hey everybody, it's the Gaming Optimist, and I'm talking about uh, The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Um, based on the film of the same name, which is in turn based on the novel of the same name. Um, and I beat this one. Uh, yes, sadly, this isn't a review of the film, but instead the game that's based on said film. The plot remains unchanged from the movie, with Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy Pevensey being sent away by their mother in order to be protected during World War II. The man they live with, Diggory Kirk, owns a wardrobe that also acts as a portal to another land, Narnia. The children wander into this world, where they encounter the villainous white witch, Jadis. They team up with the Narnians and their leader, Aslan, to take on Jadis in a climactic battle. I've always been impressed with this story, and it still works in video game form, but it's been a bit compressed to save some time. You control all four children, who all have different abilities. Peter wields a sword, Susan is a skilled archer, Edmund carries a torch and can climb, and little Lucy can tame and ride animals, as well as heal the, uh, the three others. The three others. The other three. Uh, giving them strength. The game's final battle is difficult as hell, and the overall game gets pretty boring fast. It's not the worst I've played, that's for sure. I just wish it wasn't so damn repetitive. Uh, overall, this is pretty decent. Um, it's not difficult as hell. It's annoying and frustrating as hell. Fighting Jadis, the White Witch, is like... This whole game wasn't this fucking hard. Like, I barely died in this game, and now I'm dying all the fucking time. It's the most fucking frustrating thing when you play a fucking video game. And you get to the final ba boss, and you're like, this has been a fun, pleasant adventure. And then you start fucking losing over and over again. Like, why am I fucking losing over and over again? What the fuck is going on here? What happened? That was this. I was like, what the fuck? And then I, I finally was just like, when you had that moment, you're just like, And then you do it, and then you win, and you're like, okay, that wasn't so bad. But yeah, it's it, this feels very similar to a lot of like movie-to-game adaptations, such as Van Helsing. It's the first one that comes to mind. Fun game, um, but there are like the, there's a boss fight with Igor in Van Helsing that's similar to the boss fight with Jadis. Um, Van Helsing is much harder, much more difficult, and much more fun, uh, this one, but kind of similar in a way. Uh, the, uh, fucking Lord of the Rings games that were on PS2 is kind of like this too as well. Fantasy elements and then how you, like, control, like, change between characters, like, with the, I think it was the stick or one of the buttons you cycle between the characters in, during gameplay. Not a bad adaptation, but, you know, and... You know, if I didn't care, like, if I didn't see the movie and this game came out, I wouldn't fucking play it. I would be like, who cares? I don't care about this shit. And then, like, if I played it, would it make me want to see the movie? Fuck no. I wouldn't what? This is stupid. This is dumb as shit. That's the whole point of a, um, a movie to video game adaptation. In my eyes, that game, adapted from the film... Should make me want to watch the film if I haven't seen it. And if I have seen the film, I should desperately be wanting to play that adaptation of said movie. Um, and I wasn't, like, chomping at the bit for this game. I wasn't like, fuck, I need this. So, it sounds very pessimistic. It's only because this is, like, that's just my stance on movie to game adaptations, anyway. Um, so, yeah. That's my thoughts on the Chronicles of Narnia, the Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe. What do you think? Should it have been a video game? Could they have done better? Leave your thoughts, comments, and prayers in the, you know, down below or whatever. Okay, bye.